need um, that's that's the process that has started. So we need to make sure that we're ele electing the right leader who will appeal to Ghanaians, who will campaign on the president's record, and who would also unite the party after all this. Because this exercise in itself brings a lot of division after that. So we need a unifier who after that will bring the party forward, all hands on deck, so we can vote. Um, we can get Ghanaians to vote for us to break the aid. In your estimation, who is this candidate? I have a secret ballot, and the constitution grants me that uh, right. So yeah, I have a secret. All these I I would I would not personally or one person decide that it's a collective thing across the whole region, and so I know that I'm going to vote for that person that has those qualities. Some of your colleague members of parliament have already made their intentions known. Do you think that exercise is wrong? I. I think it's about freedom of speech, freedom of association, and the constitution guarantees that. So I don't see anything wrong with it. And other people who also don't want to disclose it is also enshrined in the constitution that your ballot is secret. So I don't see anything wrong with that.